Hey everybody, it's Steve. And recently I got these cool little moving heads from B Topper. And they're some of the most budget-friendly movers I've ever seen. They're sold in a set of four, and there's a link below to buy them. In this video, I want to first unbox them, then quickly show their features, and then show you three different ways that you can set them up and run the four together. These are packed in four individual cartons in a master shipper. And in each box, there's the mounting screws, the power cord, an instruction manual, the mounting bracket, and the light itself. These lights are small and lightweight, weighing in at under six pounds each, and they're housed in a simple molded plastic case. They have seven eight watt RGBW LEDs, so that adds up to 224 watts for the whole set. There's one cooling fan on the back of the head, and there's a second one on the bottom, and between them, they do put out a fair amount of noise. You can attach this mounting bracket if you want to hang them from a T-bar or a truss. On the back, there's power and DMX in and out jacks. And on the front, there's menu control buttons with a digital readout screen. And they also have a variety of options that you can set up, such as display inverse if you're hanging them upside down, pan and tilt reverse, tilt angle range, 9 and 14 channel DMX mode, and even more. If you want to get these up and running as quickly and easily as possible, you can just plug them in and let each one run independently. And each light can be set to one of three different auto functions or a sound active mode. And when the unit powers up, it'll be in DMX mode. So you want to press this mode button just once. Then, with the up and down buttons, you can select five different modes. Let's go to the auto slow mode and press enter to select. Here's what all four look like in that mode. Now let's select auto fast mode. And here's what that mode looks like with all four running independently. And there's also a sound mode. And with this enabled, each time the microphone in the light hears a transient, it will progress to a new color and position. And you can set up each light to run in sound mode independently but this can be much more effective in the next way I'm going to show you to set them up. To sync these lights together, you need to connect them with three DMX cables. Starting with the DMX out jack of the first one, to the in jack of the second one, and then the out jack of that one, to the in of the next one, and so on. Now look what happens when you put the first light in auto slow mode. They all move together with the three slaves synced to the master. And this blinking dot on the LED display shows that these are in slave mode. And here's how they look synced in auto fast. The three little slaves obediently following their master. And here's how the sound mode works when they're all synced together. As you scroll through the modes, you'll see an option for slave, but I found that as long as the sound 
or auto fast or slow host modes were selected, the rest of the lights automatically slave to them, which actually makes it a lot simpler and quicker to set up. If you have a simple DMX controller like this one, and one more DMX cable, you can connect it to the end of the first unit and set each one of these to DMX mode. The one on the display means that they're all set to a starting address of one. And each of these is also set to nine channel DMX mode. You can learn more about simple DMX programming in the video link above. This controller is set up to send DMX control on channels one through nine when the first fixture is selected. And once it is, you can adjust the position and the color by using the different faders on the controller. And you can also set things such as strobing. And once you have a look that you like, you can save it as a scene by hitting add and holding down the scene select button. Then whenever you want, you can select that scene just by pressing the button. And if you set each light to a different DMX starting address, you can control each one independently by selecting the fixture that you want to control. So here if I just select fixture one, I can control it. I'm going to select fixture four and we'll bring the color up on it. And then whatever look you choose, you can again save that as a scene. And then you can select each scene at the touch of a button and automatically run them in order by programming a chase and also control the speed and fade times between the scenes. You can make these little lights do a lot if you take the time to learn all their functions. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe.